As more people are headed back into the office, many parents are scrambling to find daycare for their kids. Tonight, daycares across Mobile are telling us they are either full or filling up fast. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson made the rounds at a number of daycares today. Rachel, you're told many of them have long waiting lists. Hey Kim, I'm told enrollment dropped during the pandemic, but now it's quickly picking up. We saw multiple mothers picking up enrollment applications today at One Mobile Daycare. Daycare say it's an everyday thing along with phone calls. I get calls every day because now people are trying to go back to work and then they are looking for someone and somewhere to take the children. But at this point, I can't take any children right now. Janice Moore is the director at Storks Nest Daycare in Mobile. She's at full capacity. Moore is thrilled to have a full house, but says it's hard for those still looking. We can create a wait list, but what I tell the people when they call me is that I'd rather you continue to look because most of the time when my children come in, they don't leave. At Joyland Daycare, it's the same story. There's a great need. Its director says with its COVID-19 safety measures such as cleaning, they've needed extra staff members and even closed a classroom. Well, right now we're getting a lot of phone calls asking for placement, but um, hiring has been an issue. We've had a very difficult time keeping our staffing up, and so we have finally got our staffing up to an acceptable measure, and so we're now contacting parents that have been contacting us about placement. Moore says she's also looking for another staff member. Both facilities are limiting parents to staying in the lobby or outside of the daycare to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. The daycares in the city are working very hard to keep their facilities clean and orderly. We know that parents need a place for their children to be while they go to work. Some daycares have applications outside of their building. Others are asking parents to call. Reporting live in Mobile, Rachel Wilkerson, NBC 15 News.